Hi there, it's Jeannie, back again. Short little video today. Get the most out of your breathing when you sing so you don't <laughs> collapse. Here's the key. You cannot control your diaphragm muscle directly. It's indirect. And here's the best little tip. Do some sit-ups and get these abs, these upper abs, nice and strong, okay? That's the muscle that's going to help you the most. So step one, you got to breathe. <laughs> Yeah, well, you always breathe, right? But you gotta breathe for singing. You wanna fill where your lungs are lower. Step two, you need the lung full of air so that when you sing, the pressure can come out and help your vocal folds work together. So if I take in a breath and it leaks out like a pin in a balloon, it's gonna be really hard to make sound. So step three is putting it all together so you keep the air pressure in there a little longer and you don't use so much when you sing and that helps your voice to work. So let me demonstrate. Step one, I breathe in. Do you notice my ribs are expanding, right? And I'm not breathing really low, because although I got full of air, I want to use my muscles so I don't lose it. I don't want to breathe high, because that's that just sucks, basically. <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that. So we'll breathe in the middle. Contract here a little bit. It's like you're holding your breath for a second. I'm going to talk to you all on this one breath. I'm still on the same breath. I'm going to sing a little bit. You don't know what I'm singing. I'm just making it up. I'm still on the same breath. Still on the same breath. Why? Because I'm contracting this muscle. Okay, I'll breathe now. Oh, that was fun. Here's another trick, but don't do this at home. I'm going to exhale and sing. How is that even possible? That's because I'm gonna use my muscles to keep the air that's still in my lungs even after I've exhaled in there longer. Watch this. <clears throat> I'm Jeannie Gagné. See you next time.